So 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 3. So we have um, one fraction on the left and we have one fraction on the right. So we can just um, cross multiply. So we have 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 3. Now we can um, put in 1 under the 3. So it's a fraction. And then we cross multiply like 1 times the 1 and then 3x plus 2 times 3. So we have 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 1 times 1. And then we distribute this um, 3 inside the parentheses. So we have 3x plus 6 is equal to 1. And then we solve for x. So we have to subtract um, minus 6 and put it on this side. So we have 3x is equal to 1 minus 6 is a minus 5. So we divide um, 3, divide 3. Now we have x is equal to minus 5 thirds. So x is equal to minus 5 over 3. Now we can check our solution by plugging in what is x is equal to. So we have to check. So we have this original equation, 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 3. So we have 1 over, now x is equal to negative 5 thirds, so we put that in. Negative um, 5 thirds, and then plus 2 is equal to 3. So now we have to um, combine negative 5 thirds plus 3. So we have 1 over minus 5 over 3 plus, now they don't have the same denominator, so we have to um, um, change 2 over 1 into 6 over 3. 6 over 3 is equal to 2. So now we can combine um, 5 thirds plus 6 over 3. So this is equal to um, 1 third. 1 over 3 is equal to 3. Because minus 5 plus 6 is 1 over 3. So now we have this um, um, problem. So we have 1 over... So now this big line means division or divided by. So we have 1 divided by 1 third. So we have 1 um, over 1 is still equal to 1. Now we divide it by one third. So this is what this um, line means. It means that we divide. So one divided by one over three. So now um, one over one is still one. So I just want to put one, make it a fraction. Now we cannot divide fraction. So we have to flip it and change to multiplication. So. Um, times so 3 over 1 so you flip the second fraction and you multiply multiply the fraction so you multiply a fraction you multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom so 1 times 3 is equal to 3 and then 1 times 1 is equal to 1 so it's equal to 3 and 3 over 1 is just 3 and 3 so it checks that means that our answer is um, correct so 3 is equal to 3, and it's done. So this is how you do this um, type of problem.